Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I am doing my Comic Con haul from the MCM London Comic Con I went to this week and literally um, here guys I brought two bags of things I did not buy a lot this time round as there wasn't as much that I was actually after they didn't have as many good conventions exclusives this time as they normally do but I did pick up one of those conventions exclusives and um, I picked up a few other things picked up one other pot and then two figures so I'm going to show you guys those things quickly now and um, yeah, so let's get right on with that. Right, first things first, I picked up this Gilderoy Lockhart pop. Um, that's a really cool pop. I really need that for my Harry Potter collection, so I was really, really pleased to find that. It says £15 up here, but I did not pay £15. I just asked her how much, and she said £10, so I gave her £10, which is fine. I did see this um, on quite a few stalls, but um, I wonder, the first one I saw it on, I picked it up. I thought, I need that for my collection. I haven't got this particular pop. So now I've nabbed him, so I have that one for my Harry Potter collection, and I'm really pleased with that. I'll let you guys have a closer look at Gilder and Lockhart there. Really, really nice pop I don't know if that's going to focus probably not but anyway it's a really really nice pop and a review will come on this channel of this pop then guys Star Wars Black Series for £19 I picked up the L3 L7 from the Solo film that's that there it's a really really cool Black Series um, figure right there it's one that I did not have and I picked that up for £19 it's a really really nice figure there was a bit of there wasn't that box damage wasn't there that was me dropping that like an idiot but luckily enough I display Black Series outside of the box um, so that's really really cool really good find and I'm really really pleased with picking this particular black series up as it's something I wanted to add to my collection since I saw it was covered available then guys this Marvel Legend Roland the Accuser from the Marvel Studios 10 year anniversary wave set now this is a big set of stuff they've released lots of different movie stuff as you see there's really cool packaging but um, this here guys is from the Guardians of the Galaxy 2014 we never actually got a Roland the Accuser so I'm really really glad we managed to get that this time and obviously he's going to be the, the villain in the uh, Captain Marvel upcoming film so it's a really really good buy this was £25 on every store I ever saw it at, at Comic Con but the one I went to the guy was like to me I've got Ronan's for 20 quid do you want one and I was like yeah definitely take it and my friend John that was with me he picked up one of these as well because we both couldn't say no to 20 pounds for this Ronan really really good find great action figure and I love the packaging of these new um, these um, 10 year anniversary legends they're really really cool so if you want to see reviews of these guys um, let me know you can see Ronan a little bit there the hammer with the infinity stone in it there that's a really 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 nice uh, Marvel Legend and one that I'm really glad to add to my collection. Then guys I got this free bag from EMP, I didn't actually buy this from EMP but I've got this pop in a box mystery box. I paid £15, I paid £15 for it guys so that's not, not too bad but I'm not going to open this right here, I am going to do another video which is, I know it's a bit cheeky but I'm going to do so stay tuned to the channel to see this mystery unboxing open up here from pop in a box. Lastly guys I picked up two of these from the Funko booth. I picked up one for Danny and Jazz. Um, they're a really good uh, YouTube channel. I'll link their channel in the description below so I managed to get two. It is the um, Doctor Strange Ghost Rider MCM London exclusive glow in the dark. It's a really 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 nice pop. I really liked it. I queued for about 20 minutes to get into the Funko booth just to get this. This was seen to be the most popular one that was flying off the shelves there. They did have some other stuff. They had some Rick and Morty sets but I wasn't willing to pay the price they had just for the one pop I wanted inside but um, yeah this is a really really nice pop and I'm definitely definitely going to do a review of this you get the nice limited edition it's a Hot Topic exclusive in America but you get the nice limited edition MCM Comic Con sticker there another sticker there limited edition and then you get the glow in the dark sticker so actually it's crowded that little thing is crowded with stickers right there but it's a great pop and like I said I picked up another one for Danny and Jazz yeah this is a I picked like I said I picked up two one for Danny and Jazz one for me so I'm really really pleased for that so this will be on its way to you very shortly Danny and um yeah, so, um, that, yeah guys, so that's what I picked up from the MCM London Comic Con. Like I said, it wasn't as much as I normally do, but I was trying to be um, good with my money. But, um, you know, I did get some really good things, I think, for some good prices. So I'm really, really pleased with that. So um, I can't wait to the next con. I'm going to smash loads of more stuff. And um, 
hopefully they do a bit uh, hope they do better exclusives that I can pick up because you know I love an exclusive but if they don't have the right stuff I'm not going to buy them but thank you for watching this haul video guys please check out my MCM London Comic Con video I'll put it up on the screen right here and um, please 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 hit the subscribe button right up over here as well that'll really really help me out and don't forget to like this video drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the stuff I got like I said didn't get a lot but I did sort of get a good quantity of things I really do think that I picked up a good pop and um, some good action figures there but overall I had a really good day out so like I said check out that video it's a good video I really enjoyed making it and um, like I said like subscribe share this video and don't forget to follow me on all forms of social media and I'll see you next time guys bye bye